Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of The Streak, but we are going to do something a little different to start here and I'm going to do a bit of an experiment and I want to see what you guys say and how you react and if you like it. So, instead of jumping straight into the run, we are going to first move over to our browser and go to Isacle.net, which is a new game that is basically Wordle for Isaac, where you have a daily and each day you've got to guess an item. It's a really cool thing and I've been playing it the past few days and I was thinking I could either add it onto the start of some Isaac episodes here and there, or I could record three or four days in a row and then backlog them and edit them into one video so you get a whole video, just because I feel like e guessing each one could take around 10 to 15 minutes, um, sometimes maybe longer. And obviously, putting that at the start of every episode for people that don't like it isn't ideal. Uh, and also, it just could make the episodes a lot longer, so I might do it as its own series. But either way, I'm not sure. But we are going to be playing a bit of Isaacal here. And as I said, basically, this is a Wordle game, but for Isaac items. It's really cool. So basically, what you do is, you start out with an item. Uh, and then off of the back of that item, you get different colours of answers for each of these that let you know how close you are and offer those answers you can then try and get closer and closer to the item until you get the right one so i actually do have the dead god um it's actually the russian website but this dead god version is really good because you can sort by like quality and things like that it makes things really easy for just looking for items and kind of remembering where things are so that's what we'll be using here and first things first, we've got to pick a starting item. Now, I have a few different starting items that I really like to go with so far. Uh, Rainbow Baby's a really good one because it's um, it's got a few different tag, uh, like tags for item pool because it's in like the treasure and the baby pool. Um, I also like it because it's got quite a lot of colours in it. It allows me to sort of get a gauge of what we're looking at colour-wise. And it's also from Rebirth, which is the uh, DLC that has the most items. It also has a good few tags as well. So it's a, it's a decent one to go for, but there is a few others that I like as well. Uh, another one I really like is uh, Mum's Bottle of Pills, because that's in a lot of different item pools. It gives us a good idea of what sort of item pools to be looking at. It also contains a lot of colours as well. Um, and it's an active too, which is kind of... A little bit different so there's a few different ones we can go for here um, and I'm not really sure which one we're gonna start with I could go for something completely random and see where we go from there so let's let's do that let's go for something completely out of the blue uh, let's take something th there's a lot of red items so let's go for something red um, and let's pick something that's in maybe the item pool uh, let's go with sister Maggie um, as you can see, they start out in Russian and they do change. But let's let's go with Sister Maggie, and we can see what pools it's from here. Um, so I think that's I think that's a good one to start with. So let, let's try that, Sister Maggie. Eh. So unfortunately, that isn't the item, so that's fine. Uh, but it gives us some good details here. We know it's not quality one. We know it's a passive. We know it's in one of at least one of these pools, maybe multiple of them. Um, and we know it's a flash item, and we know it's always unlocked. We, we do know it's not familiar, and we do know it's not red. So that's interesting to know. So, out of these pools, I'd reckon that item pool is probably the most likely, because that's just treasure room, the most likely one that we're going to take a look at. So what we can do is we can come over here, and we can filter by that. We can also filter everything but quality one. So now we no longer see anything that's quality one, which helps us out a little bit as well. We also know we're looking for Flash items, which I'll be honest, I don't know every item from Flash Isaac. Um, but there's a few that could be, and we're looking for something that isn't red. So let's take a look at what what it could be. Um, so quickly swap back. It's not Tears. So I was going to say Soy Milk, but it's not Tears. It's not a familiar... Maybe it could be like a Maggie's Burr or something. Um, or Mitre. Mitre's quality 3. Um, Mitre's always unlocked, right? Mitre's always unlocked. Nice. It is a passive. It is a different quality and it is in the item pool at least as well. Uh, so let's, let's, let's try Mitre as our next one. Mm. And it gives us some more information. So we know now it's not quality 3. We know that it's white and yellow, exactly white and yellow, no other colours included, so that's actually pretty useful to know. And we know it's in either the Angel or the item room, or it could be both plus something else. We know it's nothing to do with Soul Hearts, and this is actually a Wrath of the Lamb item, not a Flash item, I didn't realise that. 
Uh, I thought it was uh, a Flash item. I kind of think that Flash and Wrath of the Lamb should be grouped into one, to be honest. But we also know it's now not quality um, three, so we can get rid of quality three there. Um, and we're looking for items that are white and yellow uh, that are from Flash. So let's have a little look at what that could be. So out of these items from what I'm seeing, white and yellow, and only white and yellow, there isn't a lot, to be honest. Number one is technically white and yellow because it's got the white sort of reflection on it. I think kind of counts. Um, I don't know if Lookfoot would count as white and yellow. Maybe it's more pink and yellow, isn't it? Uh, PhD definitely counts, I think. It's got the yellow sticker and the, the white background. Um, the Midas Touch probably counts. But again, I don't know if Midas Touch is from Flash or not. I don't know, but Midas Touch is uh, item room wise only in the treasure room. So let's go for oops, my bad. Let's go for Midas Touch um, and see if that's correct first. So we are in quality two. That's really good to know. And unfortunately, that doesn't count as yellow and white. And that is Rebirth, not Flash. Okay, my bad, my bad. So it is an item room plus something else, and it's none of those as well. Okay, so we can now now sing, signal in on quality two. So let's do that. Let's go and get rid of these qualities. Right, so. What are we thinking? I think number one is plausible. I think that is an item that was in Flash. I'm not entirely sure. Look for I know was in Flash. I'm, I'm Again, actually, I'm pretty sure. I, I don't know that for sure, actually. PhD I definitely know was in Flash. Because that was a starting item for Kane uh, in Flash. Um... And then out of the rest of these, Mum's Perfume, I think, is Rebirth. <sighs> I don't know. So I, I think our only options here are number one, Look Foot, and PhD. Uh, now, item pool-wise, let's take a look. So Treasure Room, it's got a few different item pools there. That's good. This doesn't. So this, this eliminates number one. So number is it's between look foot and PhD, and I'd say PhD is more likely as I see more white on that. And I don't know if the yellow sticker will count, but I'm hoping it does. Let's give PhD a try and see if it's PhD. PhD, hey, it is PhD. Awesome. Okay, there you go. We got it. Awesome. We got it. That's really really cool. We got it in. How many guesses was that? That was on our fourth guess. Very nice. So you can kind of see how this works. Um, you get hints as you go and you've got to pick items that you think will be in the right category. I mean, honestly, the, the saving grace here was this. The fact that we got white and yellow straight away is kind of unbelievable, to be honest. That's um, that's very, very lucky. That gave us a lot to go on. I'm still curious, though, why that doesn't count as white and yellow. I guess the item itself is yellow and only the, only the lighting is white. But still, the item sprite is white and yellow. Um, so I'm surprised that didn't count as white and yellow, but either way, um, really good to know uh, that we, we sort of got that done. Um, and yeah, I want to I wanna hear what you guys think of this as a general idea for... I'll um, we'll have to swap back to game capture now, so you may get a black screen here. There you go. But I want to see what you guys think for going for that in the future. Would you like to, me to add it onto the start of an episode? Or would you prefer it to be its own series where I do like three of those in one video? Let me know, and yeah, we'll uh, we'll continue on with that because I really enjoy it. And we're going to be jumping in as little old Lilith as our streak. I already randomized that character, and we're going to be seeing how we get along with Lilith here. Obviously, Lilith is a character that can be a little bit harder. Um, she's not always the easiest gal. Oh, that was not a good start to our run. She's not always the easiest gal to get along with. Um, I do not like the the look of this room either, to be honest. Not always the easiest gal to get along with, just because of the. Uh, the traipsing behind that you get with um, with little old Incubus here. I'm probably going to take some more damage here. Do you know what? I didn't, and I don't really know how. Okay, good. Let's get rid of all these little spiders first. That was some sort of miracle. I'll take the pill and hope for the best. Bad gases is fine. Um, I'll pop this in this room. Obviously, want to try and save it for the boss, but slow you down a bit. Really don't like rooms with these cross shooters where it forces your hand into like going into a certain location. Now we are really looking for a bomb because there was a tinted rock in that last room that would be absolutely splendid to grab. Oh, dude! 
just so goddamn difficult to not get hit in a scenario like that. Especially with Incubus being delayed. But we did get a bomb, so we might be able to get that soul heart back. At least we did. It's it's It would have been ideal to not have lost the black heart in the first place, but... At least we got it back. Oh, dude. I am having a really, really hard time not getting hit here. I'm not, not happy with how I've played so far. Not happy at all. Unfortunately, we've taken a lot of really dumb damage, but there's a lot of webbing and stuff like that. We've got an error room on the first floor, which is kind of good. We could have grabbed that defuse there and defused those guys, but I was sort of worried it wouldn't happen. I don't really know why I went into my shop here. It wasn't really of any value to us, but there is some good stuff in there. I'm going to take another pill. Paralysis. Just paralysis. I think secret room is right there. Um... Very tempted to give it a go. I'll see what we've got around the corner first, see if we know anything. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Secret Room is there. I'm not worried at the moment. I, I'm, I'm, I'm reasonably happy with how things are going. Check in here for anything. And Explosivo is a great item. Let's uh, do our due diligence though and destroy our poops here. Just in case we get a nickel or something. Uh, and we'll check out our secret room here and hope for the best. I'm not expecting anything amazing, but you never know. I'm almost certain this is secret room, so there you go. Uh, and we got Flip. Wow. Um, this is a tricky one, because Flip is a very, very, very good item, but it obviously forces our hand in terms of getting rid of our, uh, our box, which isn't ideal. Um, but I think... Entering a room with an item pedestal displays a ghostly second item. Using the uh, item Flip... Uh, flips the real item and the ghost layer. I'm using flip after taking the first item allows you to pick up the second. This this just gives us more items in general. It's a bit weird, but I think I'm going to take it. It's it's a definitely a bit of a risk because um, losing uh, like your sort of keystone item um, this early on is not an ideal situation. But I think we're in a not bad situation to get more items out of this. I'm really hoping for a HP up. I'll be honest at this point. Um. Because I have taken some very, very bad damage thus far. Very bad damage indeed. I'm really hoping for a HP up here. Luckily, Explosivo is a great item for us to get here. And, oh, okay. So we got a HP up in one way or another. And we got a HP up there. Okay, that makes me feel a lot, lot better. And we'll, of course, pop Corruption here to go to an error room and see if we get anything decent. Lots of trinkets. Um... Well, I shouldn't shoot those, should I? Because that's going to blow up absolutely everything. I don't know where I need to be to not get hit here. Um, let's have a look. Let's have a look, see. I think this one's the best so far, Locust of Famine. Um, I don't actually know if I can stand anywhere and not get hit here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to gamble on it. Okay, I can, good. Okay. It's a bit of something. It's a bit of something. And actually, I think if I pick up this, I can then drop it. Oh, it doesn't kill them. Okay. I'm surprised by that. Anyways, let's keep it going. Move to the next floor. And yeah, we've got Flip. I think that's a pretty interesting move for this for this um, episode. For a streak, I think getting rid of uh, our cornerstone item as this character is a, is a strange move, but a good one. Not something I'd regularly do, but I think Flip is just so potentially powerful that I have to. Okay, I like having the ability to slow enemies for a very long time once a room. Like, one enemy per room. That's that's very useful. I think Explosivo as well is, uh, is very, very good. It, it alleviates a lot of damage concerns early on. We literally just stick an Explosivo. And Explosivos are fucking well common as well. They're so goddamn common. I don't know why, but Explosivo seems to proc all the time. Okay. For some reason, I did not expect him to create an enemy there. I, I thought, like, his slam attack and him creating enemies was two different types of attacks. Turns out it's not. Okay. Item room. Remember, we can use Flip in here. So, we gain... Um... Remembrance of the Forgotten. A small skull appear in each room, picking up the skull. Um, yes. But then it flips into a into an active item again, which we don't really care for. So I guess we're not using Flip here, which is a bit of a shame because I think that is actually a good item. Um, every four rooms, you get half a black heart, rerolls one of your curses and grants a curse if none are active. So it's 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 very good for HP, but I do think Flip is still probably better. I don't know. 
safety wise, Cursed Dice is definitely better. But Flip is more fun. I'm going to stick with Flip. Flip is more fun. We've got Spirit of Inferno here, which is nice. But yeah, we got Spirit of the Room, um, this, and then, yeah. Okay, so this is actually pretty good. So basically, um, we can grab one of these in a room, which is pretty nice. Can you stop with this? Thank you. So we don't want to risk our life for it, but it is a, it is a good amount of extra damage. So it's worth it's worth going for, and it, it it follows the exact same pattern as my Incubus as well, which makes it a little easier to handle. I'll go to my boss first here. I messed up pretty badly here. I used Spirit of Inferno before uh, the boss was actually even active. So, dude, Explosivo just screwed me. That's rather annoying. I really wasn't expecting to get hit by that Explosivo there. Not what I was expecting at all. Very annoying to lose my Devil Deal there. Not what I was hoping for, in the slightest. Oh god, okay. Good, we got a bunch of keys, so let's go back and check this out over here. The, uh, the chest room, whatever you want to call it. One second. Okay, for some reason I just carried on playing and forgot to start recording again. My bad. Okay, uh, sorry. Let's car let's carry on um, and let's see what we can do. Let's go. Oh, we've done the boss. We've done the boss. Okay, so we've got flip. We've got a half black art here from Griddle. It's not it's not too bad. We can make something work with this. Uh, let's keep it going. I do, I will check in here as well. Uh, ooh, the double look penny shop is lovely, and we can actually grab this as well. Why is it always active, man? Ooh, counterfeit penny. Ah. Uh, do I care about counterfeit penny? I don't think I do, actually. All right, one sec. All right, let's carry on. Sorry, I'm pausing a lot at the minute because my company's running a live stream like as as I'm doing this. Um, It's supposed to be going smoothly. It should be, and it's not. <laughs> so I'm having to check up on it and make sure everything's going all right. Uh, it's stressful. It's stressful. But we're continuing on and we're doing okay. Let's grab that. I'm really liking, yeah, this locust just setting something to, to uh, be slowed for a really long time in the middle of every room. It's very, very nice. Why would that skeleton have to walk right over where I was going to go? Could you not have done that, please? Right, get the Explosivos hit. Yeah, stop healing him, please. Stop healing him. I'm just going to keep bombing him. Stop healing him. Okay, apparently this man has infinite health while he's been healed, so... Oh my god, this thing has a lot of health. Wow. <laughs> that was serious. That guy was full, full of HP. Have I done a question of the day today? I don't know. I've, I've, I've replaced the question of the day with the Isaacle. There you go. The only thing I will say about the Isaacle is obviously some days I will be doing it on, like, I will be doing the Isaacle on the day the video, same day the video will go out, which means that if people want to play the Isaacle, they might, uh, they might get it spoiled. But hopefully because it's coming out later in the day, that shouldn't be the case for the vast majority of people. Do you know how I was saying about Explosivo being super common? It seems to just, like, now not be, like, at all. Really, you're going to put that directly underneath him? It's been a kind of rough room, this. Oh my god, there is a lot going on up here with the explosions. I don't think these guys do any damage to themselves when they explode. Okay. Why was Secret Room revealed there? Okay, we got this, and then we also got um, Speedball, which obviously isn't a great flip usage, but it's not bad at all. Hey, we grab ourselves a bit of fire rate as well. That's nice. Ooh, and if we get a bomb, we've got a Tinted Rock in there too, which would be nice because our health is fine, but it's not great. Uh, I will crack both of these open um, in the hopes of a bomb, and I got one. Step back, Krabby. Step back. Ooh, dolphins aren't the easiest enemies to deal with, so you've got a lot of bouncy shots going on. They can kind of fill the room if there's a lot of them, as as you just saw there. I'm not sure what the deal is with the little soul thing that's going on there. More crabs as well. Love that. Okay, hits I haven't been super excited about taking there, but it is what it is. Right, let's crack that open. Lovely. I'll also bomb you as well for the shot. Ah, come on now. 
Devil deals at 100%. I don't know if I'd take a devil deal at this level. Um, one second. Right, there you go. Give me you. I really like this item. This is definitely befitting of a quality three, I think. Oh my lord. I just lose the HP I gain as soon as I gain it. Yeah, you see how like, that little blue soul goes to it? Does that do anything? I don't actually know what that's about. Petrified poop there is kind of nice. Okay, this, this is a little bit of a harder room here. Unfortunately, some of these enemies can shed their explosivo shots. What a yeet. Did you see that? Oh my lord, okay. Keeper's sack is very, very good. I would very, very much like Keeper's sack. Um, it's a little late for it, to be honest, but it's still very, very good. I don't know how this run's going to go, I'll be honest. I'm not supremely confident in it right now. My HP isn't great. I'm getting hit a lot. I'm playing as a character I'm not particularly comfortable with for the most part. It's all a bit skew if right now. It's all a bit skew if. And the rooms have just been really hard as well. A lot of difficult enemies here. Or potentially difficult enemies. They're not always difficult, but... Anyways, let's see if we can get something done. It's a, it's a shame our Ghost Boy doesn't take on our tier effects. Because if he did, that'd make him a lot more powerful. Um, there you go. Took you a little while to decide to show up there. Unfortunately, Explosivo isn't going to be great on this guy either, because yet again, he has a way of shedding off the Explosivo shots if he wants to. If he gets the timing right. Flat damage. I'm going to check the Devil Deal just to take a look inside, see if there's anything worthwhile. Um, Book of Lucifer. Plus one Black Heart, all Heart types of 33% chance of being converted into a Black Heart or a Black Locust. I am going to take that. It's a bit risky here. And I think if I flip, I, yeah, I get Guppy's Hairball for free as well, which isn't bad. It's a bit risky, but I, I, I wanted the Black Heart. Right, let's keep it moving. Yeah, it's health, I'm just, it's a bit risky at the minute. I know Devil Deal there isn't the best, but that Corrupted Heart could yield us quite a lot more Black Hearts because it means any Heart Drop, including Red Hearts, can be converted into a Black Heart, which I think is pretty useful for us, potentially. I think that could be very good. Um, Copper Bombs, no thank you. Unfortunately, it likes to drop our skull in places that aren't so convenient. Oh, there you go. There's a black heart right there. As I said, the pauses are numerous. I, I hope it's not too bothersome for people. I'm trying my best. I probably shouldn't have started a recording right now, but I've got other stuff I need to do today, so I want to get this recording done now. And uh, I've obviously picked a bad time. <laughs> oh, come on, spider. There you go. Obviously picks a bad time. Okay, not too bad. Oh my god, this is a lot of those nests, my guys. This is a lot of those nests. I think you might want to chill out with the nests. Oh my god, I didn't realise that just travelled and travelled and travelled. Where's my skull boy gone? The, 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 the remembrance thing there, Forgotten Remembrance, doesn't actually last that long. You only get it for like, what, like 30 seconds? Not even 30 seconds, probably like 10 seconds. Right, don't like not having map in here, but I'm, I'm going to keep pushing on and hope for the best. Oh, really? You spawned it on an island I can't get to? That's even worse. That's even worse. We do have money for shop now, though. Uh, did we buy keep a sack on the last floor? I don't think we did. Or this isn't the same floor, is it? I don't think I've, I, didn't, I don't think I actually got enough money to keep a sack, did I? If I did, I'm going to be annoyed. That would be really stupid if I left without Keeper's Sack. My bad. This 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 whole being distracted business isn't a good mindset for on a streak up. Oh, you see? Being distracted, walking into an enemy that was very clearly in sight. Don't like how this is going so far. Ooh. 
I, I like the Locust of Famine, but this trinket is, is amazing. I was, I was really hoping he'd blow up that wall there. These mini spiders are annoying. Oh, dude, no! No! You fucker! That spider slipped through the gap. Come on now. Okay. Right, we've got we've got potential to get something good here. Spoonbender is something good. I will definitely take Spoonbender. And that is really good because it allows us to hold both of those trinkets. So let's uh, flip and grab that too. See what it drops for us first. I think I'm going to stick with the, uh, the, the, the one that... Where the fuck did we get Twisted Pear from? Wait. Did we get Twisted Pear from Cambion Conception? I didn't even know that was plausible. I didn't even know you could get Twisted Pear from Cambion Conception. I've never had that before. If that's the case, that's ludicrously good. And it's possibly just potentially saved the run. This is very, 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 very good. We just now have to play extremely safe because we are on low HP. But this is this is very, very good right now. Oh my god, I'm so lost. I want my map back, please. I don't know where I'm going. Apparently this way. Yeah, homing here with, with Twisted Pear Incubus is incredibly good for our damage. We have a lot more damage than we did previously now. A lot, lot more. That's very nice. HP up. And um, we got plus two luck. I, I'll check in here just to see. There's some very, very good stuff in here. I'm, this is a really big gamble, but I'm going to take Prank Cookie. It's just such a good item, and I was on two health anyways, wasn't I, sir? Right, let's bomb both of those. Plus three fireballs. Oh, you spawned on me, you fucker. You spawned on me. Man. For a streak, this is not the way I was hoping this would go. Heart there's nice. Gets back to full HP. Uh, I was going to say, oh, we don't have mapping. No, we do. We do. At least we know wrong ways now. Don't like this situation with, uh, with you. And that's a little bloody for Forgotten's Remembrance keeps showing up in the worst possible locations. Right. Keep this baby going. Stay out of the way of those shots. I'm just going to have to play really cautiously as much as I possibly can. Because the thing is, with good range, I mean, I, my range isn't amazing, but with better range, I could just stand back and let Herming do everything. Um, my range isn't really good enough for that right now. Decent trinket, but I think I'll keep going. Thank you. I'm just really hoping that um, thingy pays off at some point. Um, this is this black heart thing, and I get a bunch of black hearts, but so far, not happening. So far, not happening. Well, now we've got Remembrance of Death, another Remembrance. Holding down attack, um, an attack direction places a stationary Reaper Shadow at your current location. When you let go, the Shadow slashes out back to the new location, damaging enemies in its path. Um, and then I think what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to flip, I'm going to bomb, and I'm going to Black Rune. And I gained range. I'm actually really happy with range. So basically, this guy slashes along the path of where we walk. Which is kind of interesting. Obviously not some, going to be something I can use all the time, but it's going to be good when I can use it. Right, shop, please be a saving grace here, please. 
You bastard of a shit. It's not a saving grace at all. There's a tinted rock there. That could be our saving grace. I'm looking for lots and lots of potential saving graces here. Anything that can come my way. That's good enough. That saves me a bit. That's quite nice, that. I like I like that. This this death thing. We've got two different remembrances, and they're both doing well. Okay, that's not what I was expecting. Okay, great. I was trying to get to the other side of him to use the remembrance thing. Shouldn't have even bothered. Was a terrible idea. Lost my soul heart immediately. That's quite nice. Plus range is really good. Healing at the start of every floor is even better for later on. Oh, God. Please have soul hearts in you. Treasure rooms appear in the womb. Okay, that's probably pretty good with flip. Yeah, I'll take it over that. I like being able to see dead ends, so... This other trinket is, like, non-negotiable. Managed to kill himself, lovely. Can I hit the fire, please? Thank you. This has been an ordeal, baby. This has been an ordeal. I'm not ready for the womb. Not at all. Not at all ready for the womb. But we can bomb a bunch of these here. And get a black heart out of one of them, please. Come on, come on, come on. One of you a black heart. One of you a black heart. Nope. Nothing. You're pretty good to play, but I will check the shop first. Just in case. I'd rather see if the shop's got something for us beforehand. Ooh, that's that. These Teddy hearts are pretty good. I'll definitely grab that. Five room, potentially? It's a four room. Forum doesn't do too much for us. Okay. I'm a bit quiet in terms of commentary right now, but I am, like, in Omega Focus mode. Trying my best to keep this streak alive on a run that I've kind of tanked myself. It's all been because of me so far. Ooh, half soul heart there's invaluable. Angry Fly and Mr. Mega. Honestly, not the greatest of, uh, of things, but Mr. Mega will be good for bosses, and it is just more bombs, which is nice. Okay. Just get out of there. There's a card that's dropped, apparently. Okay, no, it's back over there. I can't get that card, sadly. Oh, wait, this room's still, still on because of him. God damn you. You can't even hit me anyways, you fool. I wonder why there was no rune drop. Right. Keep this moving. Remember to play into the little mammon guy if we uh, end up having the right stuff to do so. If the shop isn't very good to us. Need folio error. No, thank you. There's the shop. Good, good. Oh, you don't, you don't die. Oh, because you're raged. Why are you raged? Please stop being raged. Do not like rooms like this. This seems risky. And shop. Okay, shop has some good stuff in it here. Uh, we'll come back to that in a second. Shop has some good stuff in it. Right, two more rooms. We'll make that work. Just shame we don't have Keeper's Sack alongside this. That'd be really good. Ooh. Bonus damage right now is very good. That's another thing as well. Our stat... Like, we've got some good items with Twisted Pair and stuff, but our stats aren't particularly good right now. Our fire is pretty meh, and our damage is also pretty meh. That's why I took Prank Cookie, because we needed it. We needed the boost. 
Right, so we got some good stuff here. So we got this, which is 20% chance to create bees. And then we also got Pop Pop, which we can fire for double. And then a Soul Heart. I'm not going to go back to the Mammon guy now, because he's far away. And I've only got one, one play on him. Is this Red Mum? I can't tell. I don't think it was. No, it is not Red Mum. Normal Mum. Okay. Nice, we broke through that. Right, we're going down to the next floor with better health than I was actually expecting we would, but it's still not great. One second. Right, let's keep it going. Okay, so Rebirth really isn't ideal here. Double of the same pill, I'll gamble. Oh, just x lax. You've got to gamble when it's two of the same pill at least, but unfortunately the gamble was not well spent. Oh, extra bombs. Gotta remember they've got bigger radius, I'm not going to bomb myself, but I think they would be good to use against Mother. Or oh, Mum's heart, should I say, not Mother. Mother is its own boss now. I do that quite a lot. But you can see we've got a bunch of bees on our side now for extra damage, which is really nice. We've managed to bolster our damage quite a bit. Not secret room, unfortunately. Stop respawning. Please stop respawning. Oh, who the fuck hit me then? It's hard to see through all these goddamn bees. Hey, there you go. Heart turn into a black heart. We like that. Pop, pop whenever we can. Unfortunately, this is seemingly quite a long floor for us, so... It's taking us a little while to get through all of this. I'm liking pop, pop plus herming. That feels good. Unfortunately, we haven't got a, a mega dip yet. One of the one of the holy ones. That would be really good. Look, Penny's nice. I don't know if we have actually got look based effects here, but let's pretend we do and just say it's good. Skolex is a bit of a bit of a weird boss for us here. Can be kind of an easy boss, but it, it really depends. Dude, we are creating an insane amount of bees. I like it helpful. Roll of pennies really isn't very good for us. This amount of pennies doesn't do much for us. Oh, we got sharp penny. Uh, sharp penny's not, not great. Nine lives is maybe good. And then underneath it is Apollyon's crown. What the fuck hit me? Okay. Nine lives we've got to take. The, the, the bees are just making it so hard to see when shots are coming at me. Right, so... Nine lives, and then um, flip and grab that. And then I think we we, we take Guppy's tail, because that, that gives us Guppy. Which is a, a rough spot, but I think Guppy is the, is the right choice here, because we need extra damage output. And we've got nine lives, we can work with it. This is def definitely the riskiest run we've had on the streak thus far. But the bees plus plus the guppy, I'm hopeful of. Well, that, that definitely helps. Thank you for all the healing. Unfortunate. Your rage so you can't die. I really, really hate the rage modifier thing. Please just don't be rage so you can die. <laughs> we also have flight now as well, which is something to, to be happy about. Not the most happy about, but it's something to be happy about. I'm just trying to stay positive here. Don't judge me for my positivity. I would like to have a spectral, though. Spectral would, would make things easier. Just pop, pop him whenever I can. There's an item room in here. I forgot about the last floor's item room. My, my bad. My bad. I completely forgot about the last floor's item room. I'm not used to it, okay? 
I'm not used to it. We got Toxic Shock. That's very good. Um, and... Do we flip for Bob's Curse? I don't think we do. It's it's fine, but like I'd rather have it for... Ooh, okay. Judas' Shadow is very, very good. Although I think Judas' Shadow is the last up. I don't think it's first. We'll have to wait a while to get Judas' Shadow. Toxic Shock, though, is, is amazing for us. Put us in a lot better spot. What the fuck hit me then? I don't even know what hit me. It's okay, we're just going to deal with it. Unfortunately, Mum is going to be a really rough boss for us with one heart. Come on, skip the last phase. Thank you. Being able to skip that last phase is very, very important. Okay. We are still in the running. Right, let's keep it going. We're still in the running, as I said. Just got to keep it up. Hope for some soul hearts and stuff to, to save us. Because I just think the blue baby fight is going to be really, really hard. Unless we have some extra health. It's going to be tough, yo. Isaac's fork doesn't really do anything for us. A bunch of bombs doesn't really do anything for us now. Good thing is, like, we are... Killing things very, very quickly and easily. So in that regard, things are fine. Okay, this is two dead ends, unfortunately. So back this way we go. This is why I love this uh, this this thingy. You just know if it's a dead end or not straight away. You just know instantly. Oh, this guy's sleepy. One second. Right, right as I paused, I think I died. Yes, I did. A spike chest spawned, like, on top of me. We did get Joyful, which is interesting. Chance against two times damage uh, for the room when taking damage. Yeah, okay. Soul of Apollyon. Right. Oh, my God. I'm stressing so much right now. I'm stressing so much. Ooh, ooh, some things we can bomb for potential HP. So you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> no HP, right. Isaac, you're gonna have to die mighty quickly, because I'm not fucking around with this. Well, I mean, luckily you are dying mighty quickly. I've just got to not get hit now. Okay, do you know what I did? Do you know what I did, guys? I got hit straight away. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to not get hit. And hopefully we can kill him before he does that again. Yes, we did. Okay. Six lives and a dream, baby. Six lives and a dream. And our items are fucking cancer, which I think has just saved our life. Kernhead, which might have also saved our life. Apple, and honestly, number two. All of them were outstandingly good. Apple, with the amount of luck we got, is a big damage up. Um, cancer just saves our life. Kernhead is more soul hearts and a bit of damage protection. This is all just, just very incredible for us. Um, great. That was a very nice hit to take there. Extremely unnecessary. <laughs> Extremely unnecessary. Ninety-nine bombs is uh, an intriguing one to get with uh, the bomb setup we got going on right now. I'm not really using number two at the minute because I'm tap shooting a lot for uh, thingy. This gives us a burn heart on pickup, so I'll at least pick it up. Although I don't think Flip really does anything for us now, so it might just be better to take something like that. Same room again here. A 
Looks like we're going the right way thus far. I'm hoping. I didn't see if that had a black eye in it, that sack. I should go check. It had a burn heart in it, at least, which turned into a black heart. Lovely. Oh, God. This is a bad room. This is just a lot to take in. And, of course, I raged that one enemy there. Okay, that black heart being used there was probably beneficial to us. I don't like this this rage thing. It's It's worthless to me. It's absolutely worthless to me in almost every scenario it shows up in. I am... Unequivocally, not a fan. Steven managed to make his way out. Just careful for, for the ceiling, Stevens. Where's the ceiling, Stevens? Oh, there he is. He's easy. We should be on the boss now, pretty much. Yeah, there you go. Slightly more annoying boss fight here. But not too bad. Okay, calm down, you. A little bit premature with that. Okay, we are good. And we should be fine for the boss here. Where the fuck did Pin come from? Double our damage with that thing. We're taking damage to Kansas active now. Ah, I hate it when he does that. Get your little body back in yourself. Yeah, Cancer being the absolute savior for the day here. Okay, that was a run that could have gone bad that we managed to pull through on. I hope you guys did enjoy that one. Quite the struggle indeed. And I hope you guys enjoyed Isaacle as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one.